Bethesda is up to some top-tier teasing that all points to a pre-E3 announcement next week, but for what new game? What's going on everybody, it's Ghost Robo, and tis the season of lovely leaks, exciting rumors, and sometimes just straight up game announcements. Capcom did as much this morning by putting Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate out there early before E3. It's coming to Switch in the West on August 28th, but Bethesda wanted a piece of the pre-3 pie as well. That's my new term for pre-E3 because it's just way easier to say pre-3. But at 11 a.m. they tweeted a picture of a Big Ben Glock with some purple-pink goo on the face. Now, the important thing here is to note where the hands are pointing, to 5 and to 14. We'll get back to the pink goo, but later on that day, today, uh, they tweeted again at 2.14 p.m., showcasing a rocket ship. Now, if you didn't think that the hands meant anything last time, now you know that 5.14 is what they want you to be aware of because this rocket ship straight up says 5.14. Again, though, it has the purple pink colors. The ship is doused in the purple and pink, it's dripping out, and the clouds themselves are absorbing this color. Now, it's very interesting that they chose this color because, if you remember yesterday, Walmart.com accidentally leaked slash posted a bunch of unannounced game listings, and one of those games was from Bethesda, Rage 2. Now, over on the Rage Game Twitter, which is the official Twitter for that title, they tweeted at Walmart Canada yesterday and said, hey, at Walmart Canada, here are a few notes. And they showed incorrect key art, wrong font, not all caps, missing the age rating, and then they put a giant A over the image. Now, this A is the exact same color, albeit maybe a little bit brighter than what we're seeing on the two images from Bethesda's Twitter. So the first and most obvious connection is this is for Rage 2. Uh, you'll notice that if you look very closely at the A, the bottom right corner of the A sees similar drippage to what we're seeing on the rocket ship, unless it is just merely misdirection. Now, a lot of people have gone crazy on Twitter tweeting, Starfield, 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 which, if you don't know what that is, it's the supposed game that Bethesda is working on that is neither Fallout nor Skyrim, but a new property in the same vein of their game structure, but this time taking place in outer space. That is insanely exciting, and I freaking hope that that gets announced. But two things here. One, I don't feel like that is the kind of announcement you make before E3. I feel like if you have a Starfield-type Megaton, you definitely put that in your show. And remember, Bethesda, once again, has a full-on presentation at E3, so they will be doing the night show once again, and they definitely need some games to anchor. Starfield would definitely be that kind of game. Now, I'm not saying Rage 2 doesn't deserve that spot, and I'm sure if it is a thing, it'll be there in some capacity, but it is one that you could say, hey, we want to get out ahead, because the game, it still sold about 2.5 million copies, but it didn't do as well as they wanted. It's a lesser known property. It doesn't have like a titular character that people are all about. So putting it out May 14th, at least the announcement trailer, would make sense. And maybe their hand was a little bit forced given the Walmart leakage, if that is to be believed. But this is pretty cool nonetheless. I want to know if you guys have found anything else in these images that leads you to believe this is Rage or Starfield or I guess something else. To me, I'm like 95% sure that this is pointing towards Rage 2. Again, just going by the obvious evidence, look at what Rage Game tweeted, look at the colors they use, look at the drippage on that A, and then look at these two things. Plus, uh, Survivors heading to space was a part of the Rage lore, so that makes sense. Maybe this Rage takes place on different planets, I don't know exactly. Um, plus, if this was Starfield, it feels a little too bombastic, a little too vibrant. Look at the seriousness with which both Skyrim slash Elder Scrolls and Fallout uh, games and, and marketing and announcements, how those are ran. It is with almost like reverie, right? They really bring out, you know, the, the evocative trailers and the music, and it's taken very seriously. I don't think a clock with purple-pink splattered on it, nor a rocket ship leaking purple-pink into the clouds makes a whole lot of sense for their tentpole major new IP. So just vibe-wise, color scheme-wise, logic-wise, this seems to be Rage 2. But let me know your take in the comments down below if you've seen anything else or have any other ideas. I'd love to hear them. We are getting closer and closer to E3. Things are getting more and more exciting. I know things that I wish I could tell you, and there are a whole lot of cool games coming to the show, both announced and unannounced. So it is going to be a great 
month. Personally, I'm pretty darn pumped for Rage 2 because I really did like Rage 1 and I feel like they were a sequel away from being great. They obviously nailed a lot of the gun mechanics, they had some cool ideas and some cool characters as well, but it came together a little flat. It felt a bit generic and didn't really own itself, I feel, and maybe if they can find a way to take things uh, to a higher degree of uniqueness, as well as pushing some of the systems and the ideas that they originally started off with, we could be in for a treat. Until that time, everybody, thanks again, a fantastic day, I love you. drink some hot chocolate, and we will see you all later.